Mike Town. Today we're at the Bakemark Training Center. I'd like to show you how to do an apricot and pear tart, and we're going to do a couple other little varieties out of peaches as well. I'd like to refer you to yourbakemark.com to look at our frangipan recipe. I've prepared the frangipan mix. You can make a circle and basically fill it in. I don't want to add too much frangipan filling to this tart, otherwise it can overflow. So you want to knife it off when, you, when we get to that fairly level with the top of the tart shell. On these, I'm just going to bring it up out there. So we'll make a couple of different sizes here. This filling is almond-based. You can use our Bake Sense macaroon filling, or you can use our Bake Sense uh, almond filling. At this point, I'm ready to smooth that out. So I'm just going to smooth it across the top. And then I'm going to take my spatula after I've got it kind of leveled off a little bit and kind of bring it across the top, hit the high points, turn the tart. Like I said, you do not want to overfill this. It will, it can boil over. So about like that, it will fill up any unevenness. So you don't have to have it perfect, but that's about what I'm looking for. So we'll finish these. Same thing, just kind of smooth it out. So bring your spatula across the top. It's actually easier if your spatula is a little larger than the width of your tart. You can use the edge of the tart as kind of a guide. Bring it to the edge, and I'm going to call that finished. The filling will set a little quicker in the smaller tarts without boiling, but still, good idea, good practice to keep it pretty level. Just kind of pull your knife across, and you can use the edge. In this case, my spatula is big enough I can use this as a guide. To finish these tarts, we're going to make an apricot and a pear tart today. Uh, I would like to uh, recommend that you, if you're using canned fruit, to make sure you drain them very well, even pat them dry with towels. If you have too much residual moisture on the fruit, it'll tend to sink into the frangipan. So I've dried these, drained them and dried them, and now I'm going to place them on the tart. We'll just do a little simple four pattern here with the larger pieces of fruit, and then we'll fill in between the large pieces of fruit with a smaller cut. So in this case, these are apricot and pear. In this case, it's the larger fruit on this one will be pear with an apricot accent. The other tart will be just the opposite. We'll have a pear accent. And you don't have to press it in much. I'm pressing it in just enough to set it so it doesn't drift a little bit, but you don't want to push it down into the frangipan. There's all kinds of patterns you can make. It's totally up to you. In this case, we're going to call this done. It's ready to bake. I'm going to set it aside, set this one aside, and then finish off these tarts. I'm going to do a couple of peaches. I'm going to take the slice and make it work for one tart by cutting it in half. Just kind of place it across. I've got one more to finish. I think I'll do an apricot. You can use any variety of fruit you like. At this point, we're ready to bake our tarts, so I'm going to place them in a cool, what I'd call a rel relatively cool oven. I usually bake these about 320, no more. They tend to take on quite a bit of color. There's a, quite a bit of sugar in this product, so we don't want to overbake the outside before the middle's done. So I would recommend 320, maybe even 310 in a rack oven, but 320 to 330 in a conventional oven. Now we're ready to finish. What I've done here is taken our neutral sparkle glaze to give it a little shine, keeps the fruit looking fresh for much longer. I'm going to show you a couple of different borders. In this case, I use some coconut crunch and some sliced almonds. And another real easy finish, if you take a cake circle slightly smaller than the tart, sprinkle a little coating sugar around. So just kind of fill in the edges of that tart with your coating sugar. And I would definitely use coating sugar, not powdered sugar. Powdered sugar will disappear on this tart in relative short order. The coating sugar will outlast the tart. So after I've done that, I'll pull it off and have a very simple way to put an edge on that tart. For more information on our products and recipes, please visit us at yourbakemark.com.